Hi gals and guys, how goes it? This video is going to show you my recent studio work table reorganization. This may be the third studio table design in the last few months. The second design had a vertical shelf on both the left and right sides. I had the, the tan shelf was over here and the black shelf was over there and then I had the tan 306 on top of the black shelf and the black 306 on top of the tan shelf and uh, and I liked that design like it was good because I could store a lot of stuff in those shelves on on that shelf and that shelf and you know still had reasonable space to work but after a while it did start to feel a little uh, not bright enough and maybe a little closed in and I like I don't have claustrophobia or any any issues like that plenty of issues but not that <laughs> it's, a, it's a great life but anyway so what I've done now is uh, it's more of a you know a horizontal design where the last one with a shelf there and a shelf there you know it had those two massive verticals so there was a lot of vertical um, to it but the similarity whether it's a hor like a table horizontal or the shelves vertical is that and maybe it's you know it's probably just a photographer in us um, but I really find that the rule of thirds comes into play with with the way I design my work pl place for filming you know and why not because I mean whether it's video or still photo it's all photography right and rule of thirds is, is huge in photography and that's the way this table is kind of lay out, laid out there's the, the third here maybe the two thirds or maybe even just a half or five eighths or whatever but also this lane here on the right and then another about a third or whatever on the left which is clear which I'm hopefully going to keep clear for now as I, you know, as I have a bigger project for the one video that I may use that space, but for these little motors I don't need a lot of space. Then I do have two motors here. I have the tan one and the and the and the black one. So this is the way I've set it up. I've got my few most used tools right here in my oil. And uh, there's the black motor. I have to figure out which centrifuge is for or whatever it's called. It's not nuclear, it's not a centrifuge. <laughs> I don't watch enough movies. <laughs> but anyway, there is the light. There are the is the plug and the you know the connectors and some washers and stuff for the electrical stuff. And there's all the uh, prominent parts that we spent cleaning and degreasing and drying and lightly oiling and then wiping off and all that stuff so it's certainly ready to go together but I just wanted to to get with you and uh, let you see that you know if you're thinking of redoing your space or you don't have much space here I'm gonna hand bomb the camera here here we see the two shelves vertical shelves that I had on the table now they're down here and this one, I use a hairdryer a lot, so the hairdryer is really accessible there. That down there is uh, screwdrivers and other tools and, uh, you know, uh, wire strippers and cutters and stuff. And then this is just storage for actually the sewing machine parts. Over here on this table, uh, I've eliminated, eliminated all the clutter. And this is the bottom of a portable sewing machine case. And that's where I've put uh, a lot of my next used my second most important screwdrivers and stuff and the other thing that I've done is I've gone to this I get these for these are 12 inches by 10 inches and I, they're plastic white plastic I get them at the dollar store for two bucks each and they're great for you know for for putting for storing stuff in them uh, before I had these containers this stuff was all kind of piled up on this table and sometimes I couldn't find stuff and then because I ran out of space there I'd load up you know space there but anyway I'm uh, I'm ragging on I'm ranting here a little bit of a rant um, so 
even if you have a small space, uh, remember that there are so many parts to, you know, to restoring in our crafts that it's easy for a small space to become uh, sometimes overwhelmed by all the things we have. Um, and, you know, a change is as, as good as a new start, right? But uh, anyway, I just wanted to, to let you bring you up to speed on what I've been playing with kind of on and off for the last little while. These are ready, so my next video is the one that I should have done a little while ago. And uh, I will assemble this. Uh, we will find out which, which one applies to, to which. And uh, I hope that uh, this was able to uh, help you think about design. You may be thinking about having, you know, designing your space on your channel. Or, or what have you, something for your crafts. Maybe you don't have a channel, maybe you're busy with crafts, you know, and you have a workspace. But thanks for viewing, I appreciate your, uh, your attention to this, and please subscribe, and uh, have fun, take care of yourselves, and uh, I'll see you soon. Ciao, amigos.